my son and his friend went out goose hunting this morning. Told them to stop by when they're done and I'll have a brunch for them. I asked them what they preferred. Uh, ham, bacon, or sausage. They said they preferred ham. So I'm going to make like a ham uh, breakfast thing that you get at McDonald's. Here's the slice of ham. The eggs, I bought these silicone rings. And the eggs will be cooked in those rings. Here are the eggs ready to be poured in. There are two eggs in each container. Whip them up just a little bit to break up the yolk. They will have their choice of croissant, English muffin, or bagel. Because they're hungry growing boys. Okay, to make egg McMuffin or croissant witch or whatever you want to call it, uh, you can use bagel, English muffin, or croissants. You toast them up. Here's how to make the ham. You need a form of some kind to cut a nice circle out. I'll show you. I just use that as a form cut a round circle around it so I get a shape that I want. Cut it out into a circle then heat it up in a frying pan over medium medium high heat. Make sure you don't forget the cheese. When it's well heated and the cheese is melted Put it on your toasted bagel or English muffin or croissant. You put your form in the pan, heat it up. I sprayed it with a Pam spray to make sure everything doesn't stick. And you take two eggs and you beat them up slightly. And that's kind of what they should look like. Then you pour them into there. After you pour them in, that's what they'll look like. Then I like to add just a little bit of water. For a steam effect. And then cover it. Make sure you cook it over a medium heat. I've got mine set at a five. And got the water in there so the steam is helping cook it. Uh, hint, if you're making sunny side up eggs, you can make sunny side up eggs the same way. Put them in the pan, into your skillet, add a little bit of water and cover it. The water helps cook the top. When I'm cooking like this I prefer to use a lid that I can see through. I just shake it a little bit like this and if I see the center of the egg jiggle I know it's not done. If you take the lid off you lose the heat in your steam, it stops cooking. Uh, the phrase that I've heard used is, if you're looking, you're not cooking. Okay. Uh, as you can see, it spilled over a little bit, but that's no big deal. And if, it's, if you've sprayed enough Pam and everything on it, it should just lift right off like that. Then you put that onto your uh, Egg McMuffin. And there you go. One huge ham and egg McMuffin. Enjoy.